Hello everybody, welcome back. This is continuing on from the last little bonus video, so we'll get straight back into it and hope you enjoy. To work straight away. Mm. Um, Which really, it really raises a really important topic, doesn't it? That the using the features on your camera, knowing, becoming a competent user of your camera. Um, the camera is but a tool, folks. It's, you can get carried away with the brands if, if you like, but the camera is a tool. Mm. And same as your software is a tool. As well. You can, different software, you treat it like hammers in a, 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 a toolbox. Different hammers actually do different things. Yeah. Cameras like this, um, yeah, they are a tool and a good tradesman gets the most out, out, out of his tool and uh, tools and uh, yeah that's really important so I think I can see I can see a few more sessions coming up on uh, exp exploring well, some of the functionality and in these things this um, um, series that we're doing with photo Australia is actually pushing me to yep. look for like these mm. these features yep. you I'm, I'm so used yep. to doing things manually yep yep and um, doing it the way I you've do, always done it Yep. yep, I do shoot a lot on aperture priority yep. because our cameras are, mm -hmm. and this is no matter what brand camera you got, our cameras are very good at reading light. Mm. And they've gotten so easy to control. You can go to shutter priority, aperture yep. priority, yep. and then when you're in a really hard place, go to manual. And I even, if you're starting photography, just shoot on auto. Don't get hung up with, um, and a lot of pro photographers will say, well, you got to use manual all the time. You're not a photographer unless you use manual. Um, don't get hung up with that. Don't feel pressured into it. Mm. If you want to just shoot auto, shoot auto. Mm -hmm. The cameras are so good at handling light now. Um, the technology built into these things are incredible. And that's no matter what brand you buy. Um, technology's caught right up on it. Shoot auto. Be more creative with your photography in here and look for photos, do what excites you. Grant and I have been, it's funny, we, we do more talking than filming when we're here, which is probably not a, not a, <laughs> that's not a not great gonna, thing. That's not going to surprise Maybe anyone we shouldn't that have let that on. Maybe we shouldn't have, should have told him that, Grant. <laughs> Actually, right. we get here, we record and we go we home. Work, we work really hard. <laughs> we yeah. work hard. No, that's right, yeah. <laughs> We work hard, we record and we that's go right. home. Yeah. That's right, it's all, it's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, um, we were just talking before about things and um, um, I don't know what my point is now, but um, <laughs> who cares? But the, the thing is, is, is to push yourselves, and I challenge you out there that are watching this as well, this series is pushing me to look into things. I know what it, my point was about, it's about the manual users, but anyway, we'll get back to that in a minute. The thing is, is I put the challenge to you to also do this, okay, it's great seeing these things and maybe seeing it online. You hear about it, I knew the feature was in this one and not in that one. Um, I knew about it, but I never actually tried it, Grant, because yep. I'm comfortable with manual. Yep. I've done it before, yep. and I just go boop, 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 happy with the result. Mm. Sometimes I miss and sometimes I, I nail it, and you, you get excited when you nail them. Um, but doing these things, it's surprising what you can find inside these that um, help you with these things and make it easier to use. So I, I will probably use this feature a bit more. Yep. It'll be interesting to see how it comes out on the computer yep. compared to what I did manually. Yep. And Brad, the, it's, it is really, really interesting because the point you make about um, not being too, too um, fussed about going on to manual all that quickly. And, I, and you, you, we do hear that, don't we? You'll be moving around and People will say, oh, you've got to get off automatic. And I think there's even YouTube video clips on that and people saying how to get your camera off auto and on the, on the manual. For the new person in coming into the, this game, and I suppose I don't need to be sitting back there, do I? And I haven't touched that last one. No, I'm watching it, don't worry. <laughs> um, maintaining our distance. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it is better that you're on, yep. on camera. I'll move over a bit okay. because you're off camera a bit. There we go. So, I'll start that bit again. You can edit that out. But the, the point Brad makes um, about auto and manual, 
we really try and pitch this stuff at the new user, okay? Um, so Brad is right, shoot on auto. If you're uncomfortable with manual or AV or you don't understand any, any of that, look on the dial at the top, select automatic and shoot with that. What that will let you do is when you play your photos back, when you look at your images and you see, see things you don't like, you'll be able to go to people, friends, other photographers, show them the images or even yourself, look at the images and you'll be able to identify why you don't like it. It's overexposed or it's out of focus or this or it's that. So once you can identify the problem, you can solve the problem. And by being on automatic, that then lets you think about manual to solve your problem, if any of that makes sense. Um, if you go to manual first and you process your photo and it's not what you want, and you're thinking, oh, where's this all gone wrong? I think the stepping back is harder because then you're trying to work out well, where have I gone wrong here? What part of it is wrong? Whereas if you're on automatic, you've let the camera make all, all the calls, I think it becomes an easier process to work forward from that point uh, using the manual tools to overcome any, any flaws that may be there. So yeah, that's a good point, Brad. Well, I, I think, and this goes to a lot of instructors and um, some of you guys do it right, keeping things as simple as you can. Uh, I've seen a lot, and this is through me learning. My first course was basically saying you have to shoot everything manual, which um, luckily I was a little bit younger then. I was able to soak in a lot of information, but um, it also sent me in a bit of a loop. It, it basically yeah. tried to catapult me from a beginner. And I think it's too much for any one person. If you look at these cameras, mm. and I know I'm pointing at a Nikon, but mm. doesn't matter it what doesn't camera, matter <clears throat> the amount of dials, buttons, yep. menus, features, um, with all the basic features that you need to know in photography, to ask a beginner to learn all of that mm. in one session, two mm -hmm. sessions, yeah. let's say even 15 sessions, right? Which is probably how long it, it will take you a long time before. It took yeah. me, it, I still learn. I don't even know mm. all mm. the features of this camera. I should know them. Well, we've, we've, because I'm at the stage, I should know everything yeah. about this camera. Yeah. But um, as a lot of us, you know, we all have lives. And, um, you know, you, 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 you use what, don't you start looking at me. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, we do. <laughs> but we always go to what we're comfortable with yeah. and what we're That's used right. to. And if anybody um, throws up a different idea, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. But um, it's going to push me to learn everything mm. about my camera. I know a fair bit about it, but there is the odd features. I just, I go, oh, I do that manually or blah, blah, blah. But... Getting back to beginners, shoot auto, forget about all the other stuff. The cameras are good, you'll get photographs. Mm -hmm. And if you use this, use your head and be more creative with your photography. Even if your exposure is not quite bang on or, or there's a few problems, I can tell you now, you'll be leaps ahead of a lot of people just in creative photography instead of just standing at a beach at normal eye level, and I see this a lot, mm -hmm. and take the photo. Um, be more creative with your photography. Um, you'll be out in front of a lot of people. Then start working on learning a few features. Then start learning aperture priority, mm, that's right. shutter priority, yep. um, your EV override, and work mm. your way down and just learn a feature at a time. Mm. And it wasn't until I was thrown in the deep end and I know a lot of people that were in my class, there was a, quite a few people in my class, it was a proper photography class. Um, I know it went over a lot of people's heads and there would have been only probably about three students mm. that were able to comprehend yep. Yep. and I've still got the folder this thick yep. on photography from it. Um, yep. It's great to know, I'm glad yep. I learnt it, but it was just ridiculous now knowing I've been through those courses I've done a lot of simple photography courses with a lot of people, mm. um, learn as much as I can off of other photographers, 
And now looking back, I just wish I just had fun with my camera, shot on auto, be more creative. I wish I knew the, the creative stuff I do now right at the start um, and not be so overwhelmed with all of yeah. this stuff yeah. and just learn it slowly. Just progress slowly yeah. with yeah. this stuff. And look, I'll, I'll echo that, Brad. I had a similar experience when I first started out with doing courses and such. And I don't want to knock the pros and the people that, that make a living from teaching this stuff. They know their stuff. But, but when you're teaching it, remember to start from the lowest common denominator because there'll be, there'll be people in, in your audience that um, will struggle, frankly, to turn the thing on. Um, and when you start talking about menus and going here and doing this, and as a pro, you've done it, you can do it in your sleep. You start flicking through things, you lose that poor bugger in the first couple of steps, and then he's lost the whole thread of it. Then he or she becomes frustrated and a bit intimidated, and the whole experience becomes one of displeasure and uncertainty rather than enjoyment and anticipation. So, yeah, uh, this really interesting little session, this, because you I'll probably you have, turn this into uh, a little mini session yeah, separate. Yeah. Yeah. You you have taught yourself something on this camera that you mm. didn't have on your your, the more, D5. your more pro level. Yeah, the pro D, one D, doesn't D5. have a, well, well, I guess they're both pro, but that's yeah. more pro. Yeah. yeah. But so you've <laughs> you've remembered having seen something here. We've gone looking for it, and here's you know people that have. I've also used Nikon, folks. Believe it, I did have a D eight hundred. Um, that's currently overseas somewhere. With, you uh, you were that else. disgusted you threw it overseas, did I you? Did. <laughs> I did. I actually, I swapped it for a Pentax. There yep, yep. So, um, but anyway, look, that, um, yeah, that's, re that's really, fa I find that really interesting that here's this functionality, and I talk about this a lot, that become a competent user of your tool. That's mm. that's what that thing is. Um, it, it's, it's, it's not a, a, a mystery. It is a tool. So learn to use it properly. Be a be a, a, a tradesman with it, and go and create wonderful things. One one thing to add as well. I'm we're playing around with biscuits on a table. This photo is not going to amount to anything but make you laugh when it's processed. And the last biscuit's about to disappear by the looks. But um, and then I have to fill it up again. <laughs> But um, the thing is, I don't think we do it enough, and I haven't done it enough. Um, I, I think we've mentioned before, yeah, I'm, I'm a farmer, and I spend a lot of time on the land. And I, I just run outdoor and come back, and the only time I do photography is only if I allow time and go on a field trip or on a proper trip somewhere. But this can be done anytime that you have a spare moment, make the time. And I think this channel's great for me because I'm allotting that time. Mm. But it's as simple as this, is it's a throwaway image, but put something on the table mm. and just learn the technique. That's right. That's if you're, right. Same with, if you're gonna learn one function, mm. instead of trying to learn the whole yep. damn thing, which is a big thing, like I said, it'll probably take you 15, times you know like even workshops or even more hmm. um to learn the capabilities that these things are, are packed that no matter what brand you buy they're all they're all the same they're very complicated things learn one function set it up um get get your gear out and it's a good time to clean it as well after you're done uh, make sure your batteries are charged i notice and you'll see on the indicator i need to charge my batteries so uh -huh. It's been a while since I've been out, but set up a little thing like this with an object somewhere um, so that when you're in the field, you don't have to waste any yeah, time. Sure. Or if even if you're doing a workshop with yep. someone and they say, yep. hey, <laughs> we're going to do a photo stacking <laughs> workshop or whatever, um, you already know what's what you have to do and you know where the functions are on your camera. How many times we see people don't know the menus on their camera? Right. Set just a time of just looking at your menus. Yep. Don't change anything. Yep. Just look. Yep. Just look through your menus and go, mm. 
Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, I'll, I'll write that down. Make a list. If you don't know something on the menu, write it down. Yep. Oh, I don't know what this is. Don't know what this mm. is. Make a list. Don't, you don't have to go off and search straight away, but just yep. jot it down. Then one day you go, oh, I've got a moment. I'm going to find out what that bit on that menu, what that means. Mm. And then when you go and pay the money and do your professional course, um, you've got questions. Exactly. You've used it, you've got experience in using it, and you're having problem with uh, an issue with a certain function, then you can ask the question and you can get help towards solving a specific problem. And then you'll get the most out of your course. Exactly. You'll get the value for Keep for them your on dollar. their toes. Yep, absolutely. Um, um, yeah. it, it saves time, and so many workshops I've been to, they run out of time. And it might be if somebody doesn't know where it is on their menu or mm. it'd be, th and I'm not knocking those people. Um, we all have those mm. issues, mm. but uh, just prepare yourself. If you're going to do a workshop, just do a little bit of a, make sure you, everything's right, your camera gear's right. And that way then when it's the trickier stuff that um, you, ca you cannot work out yourself, and there are a lot of questions of stuff that you just don't know, and you, you might not even be able to find it online. Um, then you can hit them with those questions. And um, that way, like Grant said, you get more out of those instructors. Yep. So no, auto, don't, don't be frightened of auto. Don't look, look down on auto. Um, as I say, we, Photo Australia is aimed at the entry level person. We're not, we're not worried, worried about the pros and the... the uh, they're welcome the, as well. If they want to yeah, subscribe yeah, and have a laugh, yeah, they're that's quite right. welcome. <laughs> exactly. And, we are. and use the suggestions down the bottom yep, if you think yep, we're wrong. Yep, yep. Um, write, write it down the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, we're only humans, so... Yep. We, we could be easily offended. <laughs> <No. laughs> we, um, yeah, look, it's, it's, we really do, we target ourselves at the entry level user to the enthusiast and um, <clears throat> don't be frightened of auto. Really, don't be frightened of it. G give it a go, learn from it, use it as, dare I say it, a tool. I think we've said enough. I think so, probably too much. All right, well that'd be just a little, I'll make that into a little clip I reckon. <laughs> so um, yeah, so um, have fun, enjoy your photography, don't get stressed. I, I don't like seeing people stressed over stuff that's, um, they don't need to stress. Um, apart from you, I'll make you stress as much as I want. Oh, <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> that's nice. But um, yeah, and we'll see you in the next episode. So, so, so folks, if you want to see stress, <laughs> <laughs> there can't be too many more left. <laughs> Might be time for another mini episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, give us a thumbs up and hope you enjoyed this little snippet and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Not sure what brought that rant on, but anyway. Yeah.